Hey, and how's it going? Um, today we're just going to study conjoined twins and basically some positions in the ethereal body and basically listing them also. Um, there should be 16 different positions that two people talking could have. And see, to list all of them and just inspirationally come up with each one, um, I only came up with uh, 11 of them, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 of them, and um, anyway, you know, it's basically like 99, 69, 66, 9E, EE, E6, D6, DE, DD, and D9, and there's a couple more, but see, at this point, you know, for the rest of them, which would be like 9D, and you know like ed you know would be probably landmark significant and that's when you know not finishing you know here's an error i'm having is you know when i'm not finishing you know something and then i have to stop and take a break and then that would be enough for me to make this video for example this is where there would already be a seismic twin. You know, it would be some kind of conjoined, you know, twin thing going on when I have to stop something and it's a good enough amount and it isn't for me, isn't good enough amount, isn't for me, you know, not a good enough amount. <clears throat> but anyway, um, just had to do with, you know, bullying and how, you know, someone could be sitting upside down and someone could be sitting right side up. Um, usually there's two examples for my body. Like when I'm sitting like this, I'm also sitting like this because we have two eyes. You know, it, it kind of makes it easier to be able to see yourself when there are two of you since you have one eye here and one here. Well, one is looking, you know, another one is looking. And I mean, if it, if they are both you know, doing the exact same thing, you know, is very, very useful. You know, we also have two ears. We also have two butt cheeks. We also have two hands. Um, we also have, you know, two different sides, you know, but that's only one way to look at it. We also have, you know, probably not use the brain thing. We have two left and right brain. That doesn't make much sense anymore. And we figured out that wasn't really useful. It was more like, debilitating it's like looking at life as you know hard mode difficult mode where we can have something that is more prescribable you know um, and anyway um, this may also be inspired by the two twins Abby and I mean I don't really look at them as twins I think it's just one person at this point, um, I have a left and right nostril that are twins. I have this eye and this eye that are twins. I have, you know, two vagina eyes that are also twins. I also have two ears that are twins. You know, I have like one eye and this ear, you know, that are kind of twins too. And this one, and I mean, all the different things that it could be, you know, one finger and two eyes. I mean, all of these things have to be covered in every single possible way. And I'm sure it's easy. It just has to be really, 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 really dangerous. You know, so we can really understand it. And just really fun. You know, really entertaining, interesting. Inconceivable is not really an option. Anyway, um, all of these uh, conjoined twin things are definitely um, ongoing with our bodies. And it's like so extreme, like we'd have to be understanding. You know, and anyway, these two people look really, really sexy. And they're conjoined twins. And um, anyway, you know, there's things that kind of hit on how it looks and everything and you know how sexy it could be 
you know, just kind of looking at it. But I mean, just imagine if I'm a person talking, what would it require, you know, for me not to have two women heads as my speech, you know, <clears throat> and what would it require, you know, if that was a good thing instead of a bad thing. And, um, you know, because see, two women talking to each other really would be kind of what would take it to be a man in between those people. You know, since it's two people talking, which would create a person. I mean, even though that's just one mathematical equation, I mean, I'm sure that, you know, me having two eyes, you know, could probably even equate more. You know, even though it's loaded with math, look how the bodies are shaped and everything. You know, it's loaded. It's loaded with information. And it it's all, you know, I think it's just about, you know, how one person you know, could equate to those two people, you know, and, um, I mean, there's a lot of other people to look at, I mean, I'm sure that's all I would need to really look at to really understand, you know, what it's like, but, um, one thing I did learn from all this, you know, and from all these, um, you know, ideas I had, and about the re-timely situations and being able to look at parts of me as two people that talk to each other, you know, what would it create, you know, and anyway, um, one thing I figured out was that, see, if one of these people has to look at something, then one of them doesn't have to look at it because they understand what it means, it's like if I had to write you a big, long presentation about something, but I understood it, and I had a small, simple form for you to understand it in, you wouldn't have to look at the long, huge explanation I just looked at again, you know, and, um, so I kind of, what I was saying in another video before this, it said re-timely and timely, timely speech and untimely. Having timely things, you know, um, the error that I had was I would rewrite things that I did. I mean, not rewrite it, but I would look at it again and like I'd write a long paragraph about something and then I would reread it over and over and over and over and over, you know, but I realized that one of the mistakes that could be there, you know, out of it. You know, was that, you know, I don't have to really look at it. I can look at something else that has to do with it instead of look at the same thing again, you know. Because I'd have another form to look at it in or have something to look at, you know, not... I mean, to me, it looked like I had kind of like an imaginary, you know, girlfriend, like erasing it, you know, when I was looking at it. Or, I mean, just kind of like repetitive tasks things like that family oriented things that could be overlapping and things like that are just kind of some random topics you can kind of use those to kind of help you some and I'm irritated about just how my voice is right here it's just not really a comfortable angle it has to do with these fucking two twins right here which probably be really uncomfortable you know so I just want to let you know that you know it could be extremely comfortable too you know, and, you know, there is two sides to everything, but, I mean, literally, there is one side to everything. I mean, there's really no need to sit there and, you know, do all this about one thing and then have, you know, one thing where, you know, it's just looking at it again. You know, if it takes twice the effort to get one, you know, out of something, it's like, you know, I'm sitting here and, you know, lifting, you know, 50 pounds when I could be lifting 25 you know, I just don't understand why I would sit there and then lift 50, you know, like I'm lifting 25 as 50, if it was more difficult than e easier. So, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of lost here, but I mean, just stare at that and just see what genius you would come up with, because I mean, just two people talking... And just the upside down, right side up and all that. I mean, what would that have to do with those two sisters and how hot they would be if I had to talk to them? What would happen? You know?